In today's video, microcontroller ESP8266 interface with temperature and humidity sensor DHT11 is used to send sensor measurements to mobile app Blink. The Blink app is also used to control some LEDs. The Blink app is a platform that allows the user to quickly build elegant interfaces for controlling and monitoring hardware projects from a mobile device. This is the hardware that will be controlled by the Blink app. We have two LEDs connected to pins D1 and D2 and we have uh, the DHT11 sensor connected to pin D4. The first step is to register with the Blink app and then start building a user interface to control your hardware. Blink provides easy steps to accomplish this. The project in this video has this interface. We have two switches to control two LEDs, one red LED and the other blue LED. The red LED is controlled by a on-off switch while the blue LED is controlled by a push button. We also have two numeric displays, one to display the temperature and one and the other to display the humidity. The next step is to go to the examples website of Blink as seen here and choose the appropriate code. And we can do this by first uh, selecting the correct board. In our case, it's the ESP8266. And then we're going to select the connection type. It's going to be Wi-Fi. And here we select the example we want to implement. In our case, it's the DHT11 sensor. Once you have the code, you can just copy the code and paste it into your Arduino IDE. When you register with Blink, they will send you an email with an authentication token. You need to insert it here. Also, you need to put the, your network uh, name and the Wi-Fi password. And also, indicate in the code where your DHT11 sensor is connected. In this case, it's digital pin 4. After you upload the code to the microcontroller, you're ready to blink. More Blink projects will be presented in future videos, especially Blink and Arduino. Thank you for watching.